Okay, so the Mirror Online weird news is one of my strange addictions. Their stories are just so f***ing funny, and here's one of the funniest ones of the last couple of weeks. Couple charge guest for eating extra slice of wedding cake after reviewing CCTV. <laughs> These tight ass motherfuckers reviewed the CCTV of their wedding reception and caught one of the guests eating an extra slice of wedding cake. And so they charged him £3.66. Now, Sugar Tits is sitting next to me, and I've got to say, that is a fantastic idea. I mean, our wedding cake was a fucking sponge cake from, from Safeway. From, 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 <laughs> I mean, the, the entire thing costs fucking $8 or something. <laughs> £3.66 is what, like 7 bucks Australian? I'd charge motherfuckers 7 bucks Australian for a piece of sponge cake. That's a fantastic idea. <laughs> Why didn't we think of this? Anyway, so, couple charge guest for eating extra slice of wedding cake after reviewing CCTV. A wedding guest was messaged by the happy couple and told to transfer... £3.66 ASAP after they said they reviewed the CCTV and saw that they had eaten an extra slice of wedding cake. I mean, did they have like fucking security guards like surrounding the wedding cake, like doling it out? This is so stingy. A wedding guest was left stunned after being informed they had incurred some additional charges during the celebrations and would need to pay off their bill. The guest revealed that on the day, the newly married couple announced that their guest would be helping them to pay off their wedding cake by contributing money before grabbing a slice. Oh, that's so f***ing tight. I mean, did this guest give them a gift? I mean, the toaster was probably like f***ing $39.95 at Kmart. And these c***s, these mother f***ing c***s are going to charge £3.66 for a slice of f***ing cake. <laughs> I mean, I don't even like going to weddings. It's a f***ing try. I hate weddings. You should have to pay me to go to your fucking wedding because it's fucking gay. I don't want to fucking dance. I don't want to slow dance with my with my fucking cousin. I don't want to go in the photo and like jump and go hooray when the fucking photographer says so. Fuck you. Fuck your wedding. Fuck your cake. The guest coughed up the £3.66 required to tuck into the cake and didn't think anything more of it until they received a message a few days later. Sharing screenshots of the exchange online, it shows the couple had sent a video along with the message. Hey, so we're just looking at the CCTV <laughs> and saw you had two pieces of the wedding cake. So were they like on their honeymoon, like mid f Reviewing the CCTV and like mid-orgasm, the wife's like, whoa, 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 hold up, hold up before you jizz all over my tits. This cunt had an extra slice of wedding cake. Hold on, hold on, we'll get back into this later. I've just got to write up an invoice. For £3.66. <laughs> you tight ass cunts. Oh my god, here's the f***ing text. They sent the guest the CCTV video, and he's like, uh, what? <laughs> and they're like, hey, so we were just looking at CCTV and saw you had two pieces of wedding cake. We announced that each guest must pay per slice, and noticed that you only paid for one. Can you please send the £3.66 ASAP? You know what? I'd be like, come sue me. Sue me. For the f***ing £3.66, you f***ing tight ass. I mean, you can buy a decent cupcake for £3.66. F*** your wedding cake. Wedding cakes are usually shit. I'd rather have, like, a nice cupcake from a, a decent bakery or something. I mean, if I was this guy, the next wedding I went to, I'd pack my own f***ing cake. I mean, f*** you, f*** your cake, and f*** your wedding. Why am I even here? The messages were uploaded to Reddit with the caption, I paid for the first slice after it was announced on the day we'd be helping to pay for their cake. Apparently it didn't count for the second. The move was slammed online as one person wrote, If you can't afford to buy a cake to offer your guests, then don't get a cake. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree. You fucking misers. A second said, I love to spend my first precious days as a newlywed reviewing CCTV to see which of my loved ones I can shake down for £3.66. Yeah, look, either the husband is the nerdiest fucking accountant in the world, or this is a bridezilla. We've got a bridezilla on our hands. What a bitch.
much. And another suggested they reply to the message to say, I paid X for your gift, X for gas to get there and back, X for clothing to wear to your wedding, and passed up an opportunity to work an extra shift in order to attend. Subtracting the cost of the slice of cake, you owe me XXX. Please remit immediately to avoid late fees. <laughs> He should send a debt collector after him. Anyway, this is just a short one. This video was sponsored by Virtual Shield, so here's a quick ad. Whether we like it or not, our smartphones are data mining machines. This is why I advocate for tighter internet security. One of the best ways you can tighten up your internet security is with a VPN. Virtual Shield is my favourite VPN. Obviously, they're a long-time channel sponsor, but they're also one of the best on the market. Virtual Shield effectively protects your data from corporations, hackers, and your ISP. It comes with a free 30-day trial, and you can get 50% off for life by signing up this month at hidewithbear.com. Alright, well thanks for watching, I will see you next time, ta-ta, goodbye, cheerio! Recession!